Hey guys, we're talking about Cool Kyle Starchild. Do you like the beat? Ah, uh, beat, beat. Enjoy Records, 1980. This was released twice in 1980. One in the more generic Enjoy Records sleeve, you know, with the red with the silver Enjoy, Enjoy, Enjoy all over it, and the, then in the picture cover, and then the repress, of course. More recently, which I'm not sure, it's not recent recent, but I'd say like the mid-2000s, something like that, uh, repress it again with the picture cover, because again, if you're going to repress this, you want to get the picture cover after all. So this looks basically exactly like the original one did, uh, even with the Enjoy information and stuff on it, and the... Of course, a great picture of Cool Kyle right there in the middle. So, do you like that funky beat? It's one of those epic monsters, super long disco cuts. Uh, this version here, I think it says eight and a half minutes. That's the short version. Yeah, the short version is eight and a half minutes. The full length version is closer to 13. Uh, and again, pure, pure disco. Cool Kyle, Star Child, as much as, you know, the Star Child kind of implies in his name, he's definitely more of the DJ Hollywood disco side of early hip-hop as opposed to sort of the more Melly Mel, Cool Modi street side. Uh, and you definitely get that in the lyrics. But I have to say, for that, he does basically pure non-stop rapping through the whole thing. Uh, and he sounds, you know, a bit more credible maybe than some of the more disco rappers you think of when you think, oh, he's totally disco. Uh, you know, so he's, he's sort of riding the line. He's definitely on that side, but he definitely brings some of the skills of one of the earlier street MCs. He actually had a couple of records over the years. Uh, he started out on Enjoy Records, like the one I just showed you. Uh, he did a couple there, and then he actually wound up on, I believe, Profile. I don't know too much about the history of Cool Kyle outside of his records. I believe he's one of those disco fever guys. I think he actually did, I said he's in the vein of DJ Hollywood. I think he actually did work with DJ Hollywood. Uh, I know there's an interview which I read some time ago with him on the foundation. You know, uh, Troy, fantastic site, fantastic. I recommend you go there and read all those interviews. Uh, so Cool Kyle is definitely on there and he gives his story. But frankly, I think, you know, these records are really the hit of it. Uh, and perhaps this one in particular was probably his best known of his four. And happily, he's also one of those originators who's still around to this day. So, you know, he'll still do shows and sort of old school uh, stuff. And you can find him on YouTube and stuff. And I actually think he has a few new songs online, or maybe not new, new like 2014, but new like the 2000s. So he's definitely one of those guys who's still out there, still has a name in it. So one thing you'll notice comparing the inside label to the picture cover is that the inside label actually credits it to Cool Kyle Starchild and the Disco Dolls. And the Disco Dolls are sort of his backup, well, like their name implies, sort of his backup singer girls. Uh, they don't really sing. They definitely do the kind of ah beat beat part on the hook, which you might think, okay, that's just like uh, the Donna Summer song, you know, Bad Girls, you know, toot toot. Uh, beat beat but no they actually do it differently enough that I mean I'm sure it's inspired by that song but it's really they're not doing that they're doing their own thing here uh, but more importantly what they do is they do a lot of uh, answer back to his lyrics so you know he'll say a line they'll answer back he'll say a line they'll answer back they don't really sing at all it definitely you know ups the energy makes it a lot more lively gives it more of the sort of classic party feel of you know again the early disco kind of records so I'll play a clip of this, of course. Uh, I'm sure instantly you'll recognize at least part of the sample. Of course, I say sample. They don't actually sample. Uh, like all the records of this era, they have a whole live band recreating the music of a famous previous hit. In this case, uh, it's another song called Do You Like the Beat? I think this is called Do You Like That Funky Beat, but I think that one's just called Do You Like the Beat? I'm not exactly sure, because disco isn't necessarily my thing, but it's a very famous one by a group called BT Express. You're absolutely going to recognize the bass line in a lot of subsequent hip-hop songs, but it basically pretty much started out here. Uh, sounds really dope. Cool Kyle sounds really good rapping over the whole thing. Again, it's basically non-stop for, if you listen to the long version, 13 minutes. Even when the disco girls kind of jump in, they're so brief. It's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's not really like Cool Kyle, you know, taking a break for a hook or something. It's really pretty non-stop. So really fresh, kind of fun record. <laughs> Welcome to the party, everybody. I'm glad that you could attend. We're gonna rock, shock, scream, and shout to the beat that has no end. Now you listen to the number one rocket MC. Rocking the world is my fantasy. Yeah, my name is Cool Kyle. They call me Star Child. Just shocking the house for a little while. I'm six feet tall, full of joy. To all the young ladies, I'm just a playboy. 21 years old, it should be known. I'm the high power number of the microphone. Now, New York City is my home. I'm all about the mic. I like to get it on. Born under the side. Oh, Scorpio, I make you work your body nice and slow I'm the K, O, the O, the L I got a telephone, book, book, clock and tell All the fly girls wanna ring my bell I'm the K, Y, L, the E Just book it to the river of the star child B Now it's like the beat, I rock the funky beat I don't need a group because I can't be beat I'm not five, not four, not three, not two I'm one MC and I make your boogaloo I'm the soul brother, the ladies lover I'm like no other 
loser, but never be another. Playing the role and keep for another cover. I'm down by law, you better take a good look. Pretty soon I'll be in the history books. So do do it. Yo, stop. This dance to the music make you wanna ride. I check it out, y'all. BB. I keep on to the boogie. And now I can remember how I came to be Star Child. Good, the shocker MC. I was sitting at home. I was all alone. To the rest of the world, I was just an unknown. Until one day when I made it on my mind, I got a little black book and I wrote my life. So yeah, that's it for me. Just bringing back one of those lesser known, but really shouldn't be lesser known, classic early disco era hip hop hits. This one particularly from 1980. Sharing with you guys, you know, because I know we've got some younger viewers and stuff who totally miss the scene. Uh, and even some heads my head, my age might not be totally aware of it. So cool crowd, Star Child. This repress is very easy to find. Even the originals, frankly, enjoy records pressed up a lot. They're not that hard to find. Uh, so I definitely recommend tracking this down. And I also recommend uh, checking out his other records. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.